I play baseball in the spring and I play soccer actually right now in the fall I play goalie for our uh, Hartford team. Right now I really don't do anything baseball wise. Um, I mean other than I play MLB the show, <laughs> that's about it. But um, I don't really transition until completely after soccer. Um, I kind of like time off um, from both sports just because it makes me appreciate both sports a little more. So I get time off from baseball to focus on soccer. And then when I come back to baseball, I'm excited to play. And then when I come back to soccer the following year, I'm more excited to play soccer. I think it, it goes a lot with playing goalie in soccer. Like I play goalie, so it's a lot of just reaction. You kind of either react well or you don't react well at the corner positions for uh, baseball, and that's pretty much all it is. There's really not, I, I don't think there's too much skill. You just got to throw your body in front of the ball and pick it up and throw it. The schoolwork's not too, too hard. I think it's harder to balance, like, how I'm going to, like successfully hit a certain like average or something like how like how much practice that's going to take to do and and how to uh, like get better at my goalkeeping i think that's the harder part like the, the school works not as bad as the um actual practicing the sports are because you gotta obviously attend your practices and then you have to do a little extra stuff in order to get above to the next level the first the first month or so I just pretty much focus on baseball and then the last month and a half I start doing a little more soccer I start going in the mornings before we would for the Cape we would be up I'd be in Wareham by about 12 noon so I'd be doing my soccer around nine in the morning a couple times a week and then I'd have to do some running too on top of that to get back into shape for soccer